Welcome to Tibble's Apprentice. Today's topic is, well, it's about getting salty. Um, yeah, so it's something that hasn't happened to me for a while, I'm happy to say. I've been playing uh, at a pretty steady rate and uh, enjoying all the games, even the games I lost. So it's not about, it's not about losing, it's about that feeling of salt. So what I wanna talk about in this video is what sparked it in me, why I'm recording this video. So save the thumbs down until later. Listen to me if you will and hear what I have to say. At the end of this, I'm gonna tell you the one thing I think that might lower my salt score and yours and maybe lead to a better better time playing Magic. We'll, we'll see, let's talk about it. It's my first time doing a video like this. Leave a comment below if you like this. If uh, I'm just rambling, an old man rambling on here, then fine, maybe you don't wanna hear this. But uh, leave a comment below if you would. Tell me if you'd like more videos like this. I am incredibly insecure and don't feel that I have an opinion worth sharing, generally. Uh, the reason this came up, though, is because uh, like I said, I got salty. I played five games with zero interactions with the, the other player at the table, other players at the table. Um, and I felt that, that that salt switch just flipped in my head. And, um, you know, hopefully I wasn't bad. Hopefully I wasn't a, a bad sport about it and stuff like that. And when I decided that I wanted to make a video about this, though, was when I noticed that salt spreading to other people at the table. Um, other people kind of began to snipe at others. Uh, I saw other people just uh, basically pick up their stuff and leave. Um, so yeah, like I said, on, on five separate instances, five different games, I noticed that. So the snarky of you out there, I'm sure are saying, play a better deck, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, fair enough, um, maybe. So this is why I didn't approach this topic immediately and haven't talked about it. Um, I'm not the fun police. It's not my job to make sure you're having fun while we play Commander. Having said that, it is a casual format and it's, it's a complicated subject for sure. The only reason I'm making this again is because I feel like when I saw the salt spread to other people, I could maybe approached this topic so I took a few notes I set it aside left it and then came back to it because I didn't want to say anything without thinking about this too deeply unhappiness and disappointment are two words that have become connected for myself and others with Magic the Gathering. That's with the Wizards of the Coast with Hasbro and with the things that are going on like that. We've had some big things pop up this past week about that. Um, but that's not what I'm talking about. Rather, uh, season two of this show, I wanted to concentrate on the good things, the things that make uh, make magic fun. It's up to us to do that. Never mind what's going on on the business side. Let's sit down and let's play a game and have fun with it. So, when salt starts to creep in over playing against these decks that are zero interaction, um, that's what I'm looking at now. Everybody has a right to play Magic how they want with the deck that they want. Every time I sit down, I generally listen to what people have to say and I'll play whatever. If somebody else is playing competitive Magic, if they're playing CEDH, hey, if, you, if you'll let me, I'll sit down at the table with you. I'll choose my deck accordingly. Um, I might just be the monkey in the wrench there and uh, may just mess things up for you but without any chance of winning. But I will sit down, but it's important to talk before you do this. And maybe you're not comfortable with this. So here's just old man Mike talking about what happens with me, what I thought about during this time before I recorded this. The very first thing that I think about, and here's your old man advice. In my day, um, 
What I've come to learn is any situation that you come in contact with, look at yourself first. Look at yourself as being the problem and go from there. First thing I did was I looked at the situation. When I realized I was coming home salty and I was seeing other people salty was, was it an isolated incident? Was it just a bad matchup? And then, and this is where I really fell short, did we talk about it before the game began? Um, you know, I got different answers to those questions depending on who and what I played, but the one consistent was I didn't talk before the game began. I didn't talk with everybody else in the pod. We didn't discuss what was going on. And in the past, I had listed five questions that you need to ask. Uh, I've condensed those now down to one, and I found it very helpful and very simple. And here's the point of the video. I'm finally getting to it. When I sat down to play with somebody, I asked them one question. Am I going to have a miserable time playing against you? Simple. Takes the onus on you. Um, you're the one that's going to be the baby, the spoil sport, whatever. Uh, but it starts that conversation. Some people aren't okay sitting down and asking, are you playing proxies? What is your debt? You just want to play. A lot of people are just getting out once a week. Maybe they've traveled a distance to play in the area where they're playing. Um, so nobody really wants to have a bad time playing commander. So by asking that one question, hey, am I going to have a bad time playing against this deck? Am I going to be miserable playing it? Starts the dialogue, gives them a chance to tell them, for them to tell you if they're going to, if they have infinite combos, or if they say, you know, this deck is really set out to destroy. And it's now up to you, or me, or whoever, to adjust your strategy accordingly. I take about five decks with me every time I go. Um, and I hopefully have a deck for, for each situation. Um, but yeah, I, I hate to see anybody else getting in a situation where they're not having fun or they're unhappy. Again, it's not my job as fun police, making myself fun police, but I do very much want to, on this channel and just in general, add to the community. So I'm hoping that this video does this. I'm really super self-conscious about this. Uh, so I probably won't advertise this everywhere. If you already come to the channel, if you're already subscribed, maybe you're gonna watch this. Um, I am very interested in any comments that anybody has regarding salt. Are you finding yourself playing in games that are salty? Does that just add to the arms race? Um, because the first thing, my first, I gotta, hunt, I gotta be honest, the, the first thing when I, I came home, uh, after this happened was like I'm chucking every single deck out of here and I'm going straight to this deck, this deck, this deck, and this deck and just destroy. And that's not really adding to the game. It's not adding to the community. We're at a very critical junction it feels like. Um, and I don't want to talk about the Hasbro stuff. Um, I want to be positive. I want, I want this channel to be an encouragement and extension of the community and I want to be I want to be positive as best I can and so my onus so what's on me to take is, is to ask every time you know are we gonna have a good time playing magic or you know are you gonna destroy me um, that um, allows I want to say those people that are just out there to pub stomp somebody the chance to say, oh, well, he was scared of me and he was scared of my deck. So does that make sense? It gives them a little bit of, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm going off on a tangent here. Never mind. Forget that. Maybe I should cut that out. I don't know. Anyhow, what I'd like to hear from you in the comments below is what you're feeling on this video in particular is, even if you don't like the topic, be sure and tell me that. If you do like the topic and would like to me just to sit down and chat with you more then that's great um or if you'd like to see just shut up and just do more commander deck techs shut up and do more giveaways 
shut up and play more arena or maybe it's just shut up